Hello everyone, today we will be breaking down the promo pictures for episode 5 of House of the Dragon, but before that, remember to like the video, upset the channel a lot, and subscribe, and yada yada yada, let's get to it. The first picture we see is of Rhea Royce at Runestone, which is at the Vale. The name may sound familiar to some, she is Daemon Targaryen's wife. She is wearing some armor and has a bow, so she seems to be hunting. The reason why she is wearing armor is because the mountain clans that live in the area. In Game of Thrones, we see Tyrion interact with them in Season 1. They are very hostile to the lords in the area. Rhea is with an older man here. We do not know his name, however, I would guess it's her father or maybe her uncle. It is definitely a Royce, that's for sure. In episode 4, Viserys tells Damon to go to the Vale to see his wife. From the preview trailer from episode 5, we know Damon does go to Runestone to see his wife. We also know she falls off her horse. I would guess she dies from this fall. But does Damon have something to do with this accident? It's hard to say, but my guess is yes. The next set of photos we see is of Viserys and Rhaenyra heading to Driftmark. Viserys has a marriage proposal for Corlys between Rhaenyra and Laenor Valerion, his son. The two are riding in a carriage and you could tell Viserys looks very ill. It seems as the season progresses, Viserys gets sicker and sicker as time goes on. We see the royal party enter Driftmark, which is the seat of House Valerion. Viserys and Rhaenyra are escorted by the Kingsguard. Sir Harold Westerling is there, who is the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, and Sir Kristen Cole is there as well, who is Rhaenyra's sworn shield, and also happens to be her lover, which nobody knows about. Lionel Strong is there as well, and you can see he has the Hand of the King pin on his clothes. After Otto was relieved of his duties, Viserys has chosen Lionel as his new Hand of the King, which honestly makes the most sense. Lionel always gave advice that had the crown's best interest at heart, unlike Otto who was leaning more towards his wants and desires. In the next set of photos we see the inside of High Tide which is the name of the castle. High Tide is a fairly new castle. After Corliss had his nine voyages and built his wealth, he built a new seat for his house, that's why it looks very nice and expensive. Around the room we see a lot of artifacts and treasures that were acquired by Corliss during his famed nine voyages. We see Corliss on the Driftwood Throne, waiting for Viserys. They discuss the marriage proposal. The main reason why they have to do this is in the last episode I believe Lionel mentioned how Corliss was going to have his daughter Lena marry a Brovasi Sea Lord. The Targaryens have a monopoly on dragons right now. But if Lena would marry a person from Bravos, they would then have dragons as well, which could hurt the Targaryen rule. So they need to make peace with House Valerion and join their houses. Rhaenys and Lionel are there as well, listening to the conversations, giving their opinions on the matter. In the next set of photos, we see Rhaenyra and Lenor walking around on the beaches of Driftmark, getting to know one another. They haven't seen each other in quite some time, and they are going to be married soon so they are trying to connect before the ceremony. In the next set of photos we see Alison Hightower in the Godswood with Lars Strong. Lars is the second son of Lionel Strong, he was born with a club foot that's why he has a cane. Lars is a bit of a schemer, like his father he has a political mind. It's hard to know what he is telling Alison here. He could be offering his sympathies since her father is now leaving the capital. Or something more devious. In the books, Lars was a confessor, which is a torturer for the crown. So he could have some juicy information. In the next set of photos, we see Otto Hightower and Alicent. From the preview trailer, we know Otto is leaving the capital now since he was relieved of his duties as Hand of the King. He tells Alicent that the king will die. And if Rhaenyra sits on the throne, war will break out. So she needs to prepare Aegon to rule as king. Otto's goal in the last couple of episodes was to see his grandson Aegon sit on the Iron Throne, which was his undoing. So now that he can't oversee this, he's giving the responsibility to Alicent to teach her son how to be a king. Alicent has believed everything her father has told her and has done everything he has said. So when he says war will break out if Rhaenyra sits on the throne, she believes it. 
The next set of photos are from the wedding of Rhaenyra and Laenor. A lot of people are at the wedding. It's a royal wedding, so it's going to be big. We have Viserys and Rhaenyra here. Now, Viserys looks angry, and Rhaenyra is smiling, so I think they are talking to Daemon here. We do know that he is at the event from another photo. We also see Lionel glaring him down as well. I would assume Lionel knows about the accusations about Rhaenyra and Daemon and does not want Daemon messing things up. We see that Lionel's sons are in attendance as well, Sir Harwin and Lars. Sir Harwin is considered to be the strongest knight in the Seven Kingdoms. We also see that the rest of the small council has made it as well, Melos who is the Grand Maester and Lord Lyman Beesbury, who is the Master of Coin. The Kingsguard are here as well, patrolling. Kristen looks upset about what is happening. I think he's jealous. He wants to marry Rhaenyra, and instead he gets to watch Laenor do it, and has to protect him. So basically, he's getting cucked. Hobart Hightower is in attendance as well, even though Otto has left capital. Hobart is his older brother. The older Royce man we saw earlier has come to the wedding. He is talking to Rhaenyra, probably congratulating the couple. He then goes to talk to Damon, probably a bit more hostile with his words with him. We now see House Valerion make its entrance. Starting on the left, we have Corlys, Laenor, Rhaenys, and Lena. We see Joffrey Lawnmouth right behind Laenor, right on his rear. These two are the bestest of friends. From a different angle, we see Vaemon Valerion is here as well, who is the younger brother of Corlys. In this shot, we actually see Corlys smile. He is finally getting what he has wanted, which is his blood on the Iron Throne one day. We see Laenor and Rhaenyra holding hands here. From a previous trailer, we see the two do a dance. I would guess this is the beginning of that. We see Alison Hightower come to the wedding in a green dress. Ever since she was married to Viserys, she has worn lots of red and black dresses. This new change of clothes is probably because of the dismissal of her father. The Hightowers love wearing green. We see Hobart wear it, and Otto always wore it as well. So this is her way of saying she is mad about her father being relieved of his duties as Hand of the King, and she stands with her house. Now, this could be the point where people refer to Allison's party as the Greens and Rhaenyra's as the Blacks, but Rhaenyra is wearing white here, so I don't think we are at that point in the story just yet. In this photo, we see the high table and the people sitting up there. Starting from the left, we have Damon, then Lionel Strong, then Allison, who looks very mad, Viserys, Rhaenyra, Laenor, Corlys, Rhaenys, Vaemond, and Lena. Now, it's funny that Lena and Damon are sitting across from one another. Damon is now a single man and has a thing for lighter haired girls. And Corliss likes Damon, so maybe? In the last shot, we see Rhaenyra and her hair seems a bit messed up. There are some flyers. I believe she is talking with Lenor, and we see Alicent in the background. From the previous trailer, we know a fight breaks out and Rhaenyra is kind of caught in the middle. We also know that Kristen Cole beats the crap out of Leonor's very good friend Joffrey Lawnmouth. So maybe Rhaenyra is offering her sympathies to her husband. She does look a little teary-eyed here as well, but I'm not sure why. Maybe because her wedding night was ruined, but she doesn't seem to be the type to care about that sort of thing, so I don't know. If you do, comment below. So are you excited for episode 5? Leave it down in the comments below. And if you want more House of the Dragon content, please subscribe and like the video. Check out the Twitter link in the description below, and as always, have an awesome day.